Um, do you think you can win this competition today? Um, I think everyone's got an equal chance and I think it just depends on what the judges are looking for. So I'll just be myself and hopefully see what happens. Fingers crossed. Uh, so what do you do in your spare time, like your daily life besides modelling? Um, well, I'm currently trained to be a doctor. Doctor, wow. Do you have to say more about it? Well, yeah, you can if you want to. Yeah. Um, where are you studying? How long have you been doing it for? Well, I'm at Newcastle Uni and I'm in my second year, so I'm exactly halfway through the course. So in two and a half years, I will be a doctor, which is really scary. Really? Yeah. If you're ill, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and uh, have you ever done modelling before? Um, yeah, I actually entered Miss Jamaica UK last year. Um, that was the first thing I ever done, and um, I came in the top seven, so that was really exciting. Okay, that's great. I was in Miss England this year, and won some famous maps. Okay, so you're you're used to this, and uh, um, yeah, but it's always still like nerve wracking every time. It's nerve wracking for me being surrounded by so many <laughs> beautiful ladies, but um, yeah, no, nah, that's great. Uh, is there anything else that you want to say? Any hidden talents? Oh, I've got no talents. No hidden talents anyway. <laughs> no, not at all. There must be one. Come on. Um, I can make cakes. Okay. And actually, in three weeks, I'm doing this competition called Tough Guy, where I have to run eight miles through, like, um, up and down hills in Wolverhampton. And um, apparently it's going to be minus five. And it's like an army assault course. Only men do it, but some women can enter, and I'm one of them apparently. So you're trying to break down barriers yeah. by entering it. Now that's great. Um, how's the training going? Oh, awful. So far, I've gotten up to being able to run six miles, but I've got to get the other two miles in the next three weeks. But I, uh, to begin with, I couldn't run to the end of the street. Wow, and we've just had Christmas as well, and I know everyone likes to overindulge yeah, during Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you look good. You look good. <laughs> well, you'll see later. Okay. Well, I wish you all the best, and uh, I'll be watching you out. There. Okay, and um, I don't know what to ask you. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> He's a bit shy. No. <laughs> Um, sick. Um, I've done a little bit of modelling, but nothing professional. Um, and I, I do like the camera. I don't think I'm very photogenic, but I do like the camera. So I I'm can see that. I can see that. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Uh, and, but, sorry, your sorry, name was. Yeah. Your name was. My name's Teo. Teo. Right, nice to meet you, Teo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm um, five minutes away from showtime. How are you feeling? I'm quite nervous, yeah. No, you, is this you nervous? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How does it feel, because um, you're, what, half an hour away from going out? Yeah. Um, how, how do you feel? Um, it hasn't really sunk in that I'm doing it yet. I okay. think when I get to the stage and they say, and they reach us, that's when I'll be like, oh my God, I'm actually doing this. So. Okay, and we'll stage at Miss Jamaica UK with another contestant. Who is? Maria Marshall. And how do you feel like being 20 minutes away from going on stage? Um, to be honest, in the, in the very beginning I was more nervous, but now I'm actually a little bit more calm at the minute, for now. So she's calm right now. What made you enter Miss Jamaica UK? Um, I entered uh, for several reasons. One is for the experience, secondly is uh, the whole reason why it's actually been established, obviously helping Jamaica as a, a born Jamaican as well. It gives me um, great privilege to take part, knowing that if I, if I do succeed in winning, I can actually help with the process of helping Jamaica myself. Oh, I've never done modeling before, this is the first time, and I'm okay. really enjoying it. You're really enjoying it? Not nervous at all, 10 minutes away from... Um, a little bit of nerves, but it will be okay. How uh, do you enter Miss Jamaica UK? Um, basically my mum, she really wanted me to do something like this because I really love taking pictures and stuff like that and so I just thought it would be good as well so I went for it. Okay, and um, and if you won, what? how do you think that would elevate your life, career? Um, definitely I think it would make me more confident. Um, it would make me proud as well to be an ambassador for Jamaica, living in the UK as well. I think that it would be an, a mild like stepping stone as well if I wanted to do anything like that. And I think I really enjoy it, so I think I will go into photography and stuff like that. Sick, seriously. <laughs> um, no, I'm really nervous. I want it just to kind of happen. 
takes quite its time, doesn't it? Okay, okay. How about yourself? I'm actually relieved, I could breathe now. It was very, very nerve wracking. The speaking, the walking, but we've done it. So. You did get a good reception out there. Oh, well, thank you as well. Fingers crossed, but thank you. Okay. The ladies over here. The lady on the phone, how are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. You're fine, you're just fine, yeah? <laughs> um, I was a bit nervous before, but I'm a bit more relaxed now. So. Okay, and yourself, you can't get away? Um, I'm feeling nervous, but I know I did my best. Um, we just have to wait and see. But why are you lot feeling nervous? Because like, you've done the hard work, you've been out there um, in front of God knows how many people. What are you nervous about? The waiting. Like, that's the worst thing, waiting. I guess you put your all into it, so um, you've done your best. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> and yourself? Hi. What's the question? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, thanks. I'm really enjoying myself. I think you're the only one that's, that said that. I, I like your confidence. Um, if you did get cut, how would you feel? I would feel tremendous because I've never done anything like this before, so it would be something completely different and I'd be happy to be successful. Cool. Nice. So there you go, people. You have it. Few people are feeling nervous. Some are feeling confident. Let's see what happens. They're cutting to the final seven now. Right, I'm backstage. Of Miss Still backstage um, at Miss Jamaica UK, and we've moved on to model number three. Who is? Shauna K. Grant. Hiya. Um, what made you enter for Miss Jamaica UK? Well, first of all, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for my CV and to go forward in my future career. Um, and I also wanted to enter because I thought it'd be a great experience to meet other like-minded women from the same background who are positive and professional and hopefully going to change something about the UK and the way people have perceived it, the Jamaicans have perceived over here. Um, and also I'm in it to win it, of course, so... Okay, I like that. You're here to win it. Um, positivity. Okay, um, and you were talking about your future career. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. Um, well, currently I do conveyancing and combined sales. So I work for a new build firm um, and I currently get people from reservation through to completion um, yeah. for their new build properties. So that's what I do currently and all my experience to date has mainly been in um, property law and property sales. However, um, I am now currently the face of iced teas, which is a new, remarkably refreshing beverage, which is a new take on the traditional iced teas. So um, iced teas is my sponsor for tonight, and that's what I'm going to be the face of, or I'm currently the face of. So going forward, I'll be doing lots of big ventures. See, there you have it, people. That was good uh, promotion. Um, yeah, there's a plug in there. And... Do you want to tell us a bit more about yourself? I'll just give the mic to you and let you talk because you seem like you want to talk quite a bit. <laughs> of course. No, um, I currently love things like theatre, tasting fine and new cuisine. Um, I like to travel immensely um, and I love to just meet people. I'm a people's person, so I love to network and this is what I'm here for really today as well. So I'm really fortunate to be in this position and I'm really happy that I applied. So you think if you won today's competition, it would um, open up doors for you? Oh, absolutely. And I plan to, if I do win, take things forward. I mean, the face of Miss Jamaica UK isn't just somebody that's going to win the crown today and be stagnant with that position and that title. You know, you're going to have to undertake ambassadorial duties and go forward with things. So it's definitely a positive step for any one of us to take. And um, I definitely, if I do win, plan to do the best I can and improve the title of Miss Jamaica UK and make it more aware, bring more awareness to girls who are like-minded and obviously from the same background as well. Okay, that's great. And um, I wish you the best of luck. We're backstage at Miss Jamaica UK. Managed to get another model that was trying to hide. She was actually pretending to be on her phone. Um, what's your name? Asha Blackwood. Okay, and um, what brings you to... To this contest? Well, my sister introduced me to this com competition. She was like, oh, I need you to enter it. So, alright, I just entered. So, your sister pushed you into this. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm a bit tomboyish. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look good. Um, if you were to win this competition, how would that change your life? Well, it would change it, well, a lot. 
Okay, you seem a bit shy right now. Is it because you're 10 minutes away from from showtime? Yes, and um, I'm just thinking about the competition. How am I going to present myself out there and stuff? I, I'm sure you. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay. Um, what do you do um, during the day? Are you uh, do you work? Are you a student? I'm a student. I do BTEC Science at College at Northwest London. Okay. Yeah, I just moved here like in 2009 from Jamaica, Montego Bay. 2009, so yeah. that's like two years. Yeah, my my high school, the school I used to go to, Westwood High School, they sent me said I should come overseas and study English. Okay, well your your English sounds very good to me. So how how have you been finding the UK so far? Well, it's it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's cold. <laughs> and cold. <laughs> Obviously cold. And and we've recently had a lot of snow like Yeah. Well, I was like in my room and I was like I can't believe it. When I look outside, everything was white. I was like, "Wow, snow!" Because it's my first time seeing snow here, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, sorry, did I just cut you? No, it's okay. Any case, I can see that you know you got what five minutes. Um, yeah. so I'm gonna leave you to it, and I uh, wish you all the best. Thank and uh, you. good luck. Got to us and said no one wants to talk to her, so she hijacks the interview. Yeah. It's not my fault. Um, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, um, yes. what brings you to this competition? Well, my father's obviously Jamaican. I'm of Jamaican heritage, and he's really successful and really good at everything he does. So this is the one thing I could do better than him. I see. <laughs> and if you win, what would that mean to you? Oh, it would mean a great deal. It'd be a fantastic morale boost. Um, I've never won anything like that before. I don't even win raffles. Um, oh. and